Hi everyone! In today's video, I'm going to show how to make delicious geese dodo. I've received a couple of requests containing this recipe. I got to film it over the weekend and thought to show you. So I'm going to start by washing the gizzards. For this recipe, I'm using chicken gizzards and you can find this at your local grocery stores, your local market or butcher. The gizzards I got were already clean, but I always like to double check. Be sure to remove any leftover stomach lining, which is the yellow stuff here. And after doing this, I'm just going to check all of them to make sure they're all clean. Next, I'm going to cut this into bite-sized pieces. It's much easier to cut before cooking and it's also going to shorten the cook time. Next, I'm going to go ahead and season this with onion, chicken bouillon cube or chicken seasoning cube, salt, dry thyme, garlic powder, curry powder, and a little bit of beef seasoning cube. Add in water, give this a quick mix and I'm going to boil this for about 30 to 45 minutes or until tender. After about 45 minutes, the gizzard should be ready. Take this off the heat, separate the gizzard from the stock and set aside. Next, prepare the stew base by blending bell pepper, tomato, onion, and scotch bonnet peppers. And as always, all the ingredients used in this recipe will be listed in the description box below. After that's done, I'll go ahead and prepare the plantains. For this dish, I usually like my plantain just perfectly ripe and not too ripe. I would cut this into cubes and I'll proceed to frying. To fry, heat up your choice of oil in a wide pan and fry the plantains until golden brown. You can also oven grill or air fry for a healthier option. To air fry, add salted plantains to the air fryer basket alongside 1 to 2 teaspoons of oil. 
Fry this for about 20 to 25 minutes at 350 degrees Fahrenheit, turning frequently. Now that the plantains are done, I'm going to transfer this to a dish lined with paper towel. This will help drain out any excess oil from the plantains. Next, fry the gizzards until brown and crunchy. And just like the plantains, you can do this using the oven or an air fryer. And please take caution when frying in oil. Keep kids and pets out of the kitchen as gizzards tend to pop and splatter when frying. It should take about 8 to 10 minutes for the gizzards to be completely fried. Take them out of the oil and transfer to a lined kitchen plate. Next, I'm going to save part of the oil used in frying the plantain and gizzards and I'm going to be using this for the stew base. Transfer the hot oil into a clean pan. I'm using a wok. Next, I'll fry onion and garlic. Fry for about 2 minutes until onion is nice and translucent. Now it's time to add the blended pepper mix. And I'm going to season this with salt, crushed chicken seasoning, a little bit of white pepper and some fresh thyme. The white pepper is purely optional. I like the flavor it brings to the dish. And the fresh thyme you can always substitute with dried thyme. I'll give this a quick mix and allow to fry for 8 to 10 minutes. Next, I'm going to add in the fried gizzard as well as the fried plantains. Also, some freshly chopped red and green bell peppers to add in some freshness. Stir fry this for about 5 minutes and the delicious gizzard is ready. This dish is usually served as a side dish alongside jollof rice or plain rice. I will be adding the link to my Nigerian jollof rice in the description box below, so check it out if you need it. If you've made it this far, thank you so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful, it's really going to help the channel. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't. And if you have, thank you so, so, so much for subscribing and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.